Hey guys, the Nitro Graphics here. That's my daughter over there drawing and smiling. Um, this is the first video I've ever done on YouTube for, I guess, anything really other than laughing and jokes and stuff. But uh, make it short and simple. I was looking, I want to say in December. Uh, November last year trying to decide on like I wanted a 3d printer would I use one I built a CNC route in my garage and I've never made any videos for that but uh, um, <laughs> the dog was barking so anyways uh, there was one one particular guy on uh, on um, YouTube that I watched and he was make I don't know I put his I'll put his name I mean he's the reason why I bought one really but I put his name on the description but uh was watching him he's making some Star Wars stuff and I mean everything that he was making was with this GTEC i3 and it seemed to be you know pretty pretty nice but so I ended up buying the kit uh, my wife gave it to me it was three hundred eight dollars I think on eBay is what I paid for I think it was like four hundred on on Amazon at the time or something like that. But, I had a little quarrel with, with eBay, uh, kind of screwing me out of some stuff a couple years ago, and I didn't want to use them again, but to save $100, I went back to it. But So here we are. I got PLA on it, um, this GTEC i3. I built it. It took me about two days to build it. Um, wasn't that hard. I do this stuff at work. I mean, if you're you know, savvy with tools and and, and that kind of thing. It's not really that hard to put together. I mean, I've seen a lot of people, a lot of complaints, a lot of people breaking this. Uh, I, I think it's Lex. I want to say it's Lex and I'm not really sure what it is, but it's like plexiglass kind of. But I mean, if you've ever messed with plexiglass, you know, um, you know, stuff breaks. I, I didn't break anything on it. Um, went together fairly easy. The instructions wasn't all that great, but I mean, there's enough pictures online and everything you can kind of tell how everything's supposed to go together but um, make a lot of people say like 50 percent of what they make's garbage and i mean honestly with this with this g-tech i got i haven't i'd say about 90 95 percent of everything that i make on it's i mean i i have not had really any issues at all with the only issue I had and I'd seen a couple other people was in the extruder here behind there's like a, there's a cog that uh, rides on a bearing and it pulls the material through and uh, mine was kind of off centered a little bit the material wasn't coming through real good but uh, I'm getting ready to print out some quadcopter parts so this is uh, this is ABS it sounded a little weird but uh, ABS part of the quadcopter that I've been how it goes together yet yeah, but I mean, it goes together like that it was like the bottom and this is the ABS slurry that I use I just to print with ABS I throw all my little ABS shavings and stuff into this into this jar <laughs> don't look too pretty but there's a jar that's got some some slurry in it um, throw some acetone in a jar, throw the pieces of ABS in there and it all mixes it. Everybody says it's unhealthy or whatever, but I don't ever get it on me or anything. Uh, uh, I got PLA on here right now. I've seen a lot of people talk about uh, the, the, the odor. Um, you know, I mean, I got a, we got a pretty big living room in here, but there's no odor from the PLA. Uh, really not a whole lot of odor from, from the ABS. Uh, some other stuff I've been making. I made my wife a, an iPhone holder for her watch. That's, you know, like where the nose here. And it was on, uh, that was on, everything I get pretty much is on Thingiverse, but if you're good with, uh, I mean, it's, it looks, it's, it's really nice actually. But I mean, that's one of the prints that, that was, that was at 120%. I think I printed this out and I don't know, like two hours or something. But, um, started printing an atomic bomb. I think I got pieces of it somewhere. This is ABS. This is ABS. This is part of the lamp that I was doing. Um, part of a protein skimmer. I got a saltwater fish tank. Uh, they were kind of 
really ADD, so I, you know, if I start a project and it don't look very good, I'll just throw it out. But, uh, done a couple of these quadcopters already, and this one is, uh, here I'll zoom in a little bit on this. Let me zoom in. This is uh, Repetier, what I use. I don't know why. I mean, it seems like this computer I got running this machine's old. It's probably seven, eight years old. I put, it's got four gig of RAM in it now, but um, I sliced everything earlier. Uh, this is the four, uh, the four, the four arms on the machine, or on the quadcopter rather. You can already print them out. I'll show you how that works. PLA is pretty simple. Um, throw some. Is this 3M? Throw some 3M uh, painters tape on the on the leveling surface and and it's ready to go. But uh, get this. I mean, this is like I said, guys. This is my first video, so. But I had a lot of questions about printers when I when I you know went to go get one, but usually I'll like check all this stuff and adjust it a little bit while I'm running it. But I mean, that's just me. My, all the parts pretty much come out perfect. So, uh, I'll come back.